What are some key components uh, for acceleration in, in team sport athletes? Because I know a lot of the uh, people tuning in will be coming from that background. So, yeah, how mm. does this sort of, what are sort of the key areas of focus when you're working with a team-based athlete from the acceleration point? Yeah, I think when I come in for a team in the first place, I, I always try to get across the point that what I'm there to do is to teach a skill. So acceleration is a skill. It's not there. I'm not there to, to leave them out of breath or leave them puking on the side of the pitch at the end of the session. Uh, trying to get uh, you know field sports players to not jog back between exercises or between drills is the hardest part of lot of them. Like I just walk back, you know, do this ten meter exercise, walk back, chill out, relax. We've got an hour here. Yeah. Let's not uh, let's not overdo it. So I suppose a lot of the time I I, I do kind of um, in general put a a constraint on my time with those teams and say look I, I, I'd like an hour of, of specific acceleration speed work here with these guys. Um, so we don't have to rush anything and, and put them out of breath. But in terms of like acceleration being a skill, you know, in in Australian football, I just had a quick look yesterday at a couple of papers, GPS data. Like it's you're talking 200 to 300 accelerations in a game. And the I guess from the efficiency point of view, are there your fa mm. favorite drills, if you like, um, that you like to do to work on acceleration and specifically, I guess, your first three steps for a footballer? Mm, I, I kind of look at posture a lot and this sort of thing. So I'm trying to like I'm trying to hit nice shapes. I'm trying to get a get that nice straight line from the ankle right through the shoulder. You know, ankle, hip, shoulder being in that straight line. Get the get the players comfortable with, with feeling those positions. And a lot of the time, it takes them a long time to really trust that their body is in the right position. You know, you sh if it, if I was showing them a video back, I'd say, do you feel like you're you're hitting that straight line there? They'd be like, yeah, yeah, and show them the video, and they're you know, they're, they're completely folded at the hip. Um, so getting them used to that bit of proprioception, how they're interacting with the ground. You know, I want them to really feel their foot on the ground and where their hip is, especially when that foot hits the ground. So I do a lot of hip hip focus work, um, even in the warm up. Are there common misconceptions when it comes to developing acceleration and top speed uh, in football that you'd like to debunk? Yeah, I think I've probably touched on it a little bit already. Like, you don't need the huge volume. I think. We don't need the, the 20, 30, 40 reps of this stuff. Definitely not like at, the, at full acceleration. Like It's like anything. You don't just go and run 100 metres to get better at the 100 metres. You, you have to break it down into its parts. Um, so you need to identify what you're looking for first. Like For me, it's, it's that posture side of things and that, that, that effective and efficiency. Um, and then it's about just layering on top of that the volume. So it might be uh, by doing slower stuff doing resisted work and then eventually like dropping that resistance down 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 to the point where we're moving from a standing start from a three-point start we're trying to get them to be more aggressive and explosive um and then it's like it's slowing that all that right down in the drills as well for those that want to improve their top speed um what would a typical sort of session look like you mentioned acceleration sessions when you can you try and let the football club give you an hour so you can properly do the warm-up right. properly break down the drilling and and then work on those postures and have adequate rest rest periods is top speed similar an hour long duration is it less is it more micro dosing across the week yeah talk us about your philosophy of top speed for mm. footballers so when i'm working with a team i like to get you know that that acceleration kind of nailed down for a couple of weeks so i'm comfortable with their, that they're moving better at least um it's not necessary. I'm not. I don't have speed gates out to check that they're moving any faster. I just I'm happy with the shapes they're hitting. They're, they're improved, um, and then I'll start to sprinkle a little bit of that max V uh, and top end speed stuff in at the end of that session, um, because I'll have a little bit less or more time. I'll have less coaching to do in terms of, uh, you know, interrupting the session to to give pointers and feedback. So I'll start to sprinkle it in then because we won't have done a huge amount of actual um, high intensity work. We will have done a good bit of loading around the hip, but. They'll also be very, very switched on and, and aware of how they're interacting with the ground from that acceleration or the resisted work that um, it kind of feeds nicely in. And what are your favourite sort of um, exercises, if you like, in the gym to improve power and uh, for acceleration and sprinting? Mm. Yeah, so I suppose like the, the general strength and power work is obviously going to help, like getting, getting strong, getting strong through the hip, doing some, some heavy max lifts. Uh, improving that general strength is obviously going to help get guys strong within reason there's a certain level of strength you need um just to be able to perform for the body to be robust enough to, to hold those shapes and positions and then general power stuff too like whether it be you know if they're an experienced athlete and they're doing you know power cleans or olympic lifts or uh, whether it's some just resisted jumps weighted jumps things like that um 
your standard plyometrics. And I think something that I'm not sure is is utilized enough that I use an awful lot is the medicine ball. Um, I would I generally bring uh, a boot full of medicine balls to to all of those sessions that I do in terms of acceleration. 